could be potential world record holders for the National Electric Drag Racing Association. The bike that we have currently, uh, Kronos, was originally a 1997 Suzuki Katana. We bought it for $500. When I first saw the bike, my first thought was, why did we buy this? It just looked terrible. I didn't really see any potential in it. We started taking it apart, modifying the frame, adjusting different pieces of the bike, starting to convert it into an all-electric motorcycle. We have a little over $9,000 invested in it. Just to see the transformation that two years made, to us is just staggering. I think we really did turn the whole bike around. The world record we're trying to break is currently held out in Sweden. We're trying to get a little bit under 12 seconds. We're pretty confident we can do it in about 10. We did our first run out of the Wilson Center. The bike works. After yeah, right. two years of designing and building. Oh man, we feel great. Can't wait to do more riding. And now we're gonna go test it some more. When you ride a motorcycle, you're doing it because you're going on a journey. It's not really something that a computer can do for you. Our bike has a very refined tone. It's completely silent. It's something that you're not going to hear anywhere else. It's an automatic identifier that you're driving something that's very new and something that has a lot more power than a lot of those gas-powered bikes. Today is September 9th, 2015. It is race day. A little nervous, but excited. Really excited. We're feeling pretty confident. Oh yeah. yeah. We didn't set the record that we were expecting to set, but we ended up setting another record. So I feel great. <laughs> we're gonna analyze it, look at everything that we could improve. We're gonna come back later in the semester and we're gonna demolish the record once and for all.